Let me try that again. So sorry about that. My name is Naya Swami Padma, and I'm here today to bring you Paramahansa Yogananda's Rubaiyat of Omar Khayyam, as explained by him and edited by Yogananda's direct disciple, Swami Kriyananda. I'm going to start today by playing uh, Swami Kriyananda singing the quatrain and then offering us Yogananda's paraphrase of it. Stanza 66. <laughs> so while the vessels one by one were speaking, one spied the little crescent all were seeking. And then they jogged each other, brother, brother, hark to the porter's shoulder, not a creaking. <laughs> Paraphrase. While each soul awakened devotee expressed his wisdom thoughts, one among them with deeper perception than the rest perceived a marvel all of them were seeking. The little crescent, or third eye of wisdom, hidden in the forehead, the all-seeing eye of divine wakefulness. When the others learned of his experience, they understood what he had found, the long-sought gateway to truth. Then to one another they exclaimed enthusiastically, brother, brother, let us too gaze through this soul window and let us listen to the sound that reverberates through the universe. Hark, our souls vibrate with that great symphony of life emanating from the all-pervading music of creation. This is a very deep topic that I can't possibly cover during just um, the few minutes of inspiration that we offer weekdays at 12 o'clock, my husband Riemann and I alternating. But essentially, uh, Omar conveyed here, and he clearly had understood and must have experienced in order to describe it so well, the inner life and the sound of Om, the music of creation as he's talking about here and in the teachings of the East and Yogananda describes these very well and in a manner that is um, digestible and understandable for those of us in the West. They, there is an understanding that the, the vibratory essence of creation that takes place when creation goes out from God is that sound of Om, of the Amen, of the Ahim, of the word as it talks about in the Bible. And it is the essence of vibratory creation and therefore the duality of this universe that we live in. And that the way to find our way back to our own essence, as some traditions like to call it, to the source. 
the way to do that is to retrace our steps out from God in creation back to God. The divine, this all takes place within us. The kingdom of heaven resides within us. And so I like to think of it, and this is not to oversimplify it, but I think we can all relate to this. You know, I think the reason why um, spiritual, I'm sorry, of why children's stories, why the classic ones anyway, tend to have hidden within them the truths of the universe. And so it is that this reminds me a little bit of the story of Hansel and Gretel and the dropping of the breadcrumbs as they were taken out. I, I forget even the details of the story, but they were taken in, they went into the forest and they dropped those breadcrumbs. And then the the point was to be able to try to retrace their steps, to find their way back. And sadly, what happened was the breadcrumbs got eaten, right? And so they couldn't find them right away. And they essentially, in the end, had to intuit their way back. And so it is with each of us, we went out into creation. We left the breadcrumbs of our inner life, which the science of yoga has uh, understood and been able to explain for thousands upon thousands upon thousands of years, they, we find our way back, we retrace our steps, and at the essence are sound and light and the others of the eight aspects of God. And so the science of yoga is the science that takes place within the astral spine. When we retrace our steps out from our periphery and our senses into the center of our universe, the center of our being. And when we do, we hear the sound of Om. We see the inner light at the crescent or the spiritual eye as it is taught in India. Uh, the crescent is the symbol, of course, as it is taught in the Islam faith. And so we find our way back to that inner life and to that experience, we can hear the sound of Om with the naked ear if we simply get still and listen. Be still and know that we are God. Joy to you, and we'll see you again on hopefully a sunny Monday. Blessings.